Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. Hi, it's time for another drive time rant. This time around, I wanted to talk about free samples because there's a lot of people out there who get sucked into this free sample cycle and they think it's the greatest thing since you know sliced bread. Oh look, the company is going to send me chips for free. You know, fantastic you might think. Well, there's lots of traps when you get sucked into the free sample cycle. Now, one of the first things is, is that it can take a considerable amount of time to get free samples. There are exceptions to this. There are companies that do it really quick, but generally speaking, you are not going to get them as quick as you can through the component distributors. You know, DigiKey, Mouser, Farnell's Element 14, RS, those sort of ones. Because they can offer same or next day service on all their in-stock parts. Why not use it? Now, especially here in Australia, um, they offer free delivery on anything, regardless of the order size. So you can just buy one chip for two dollars and they'll courier it to you next day for free. It's fantastic. Why would you bother with uh, free samples, really, when it only costs you a couple of bucks? Don't be a tight ass. Now, one of the other major uh, things with uh, samples is that it's uh, there's a lot of hassle as well um, especially in places like Australia where often you won't get the samples direct from the manufacturer you'll have to go through the local distributor and the local distributor gives you a third degree they you know they want to know what project you're working on how exactly the parts going to fit in how many you're going to want you have to fill out a damn entire survey before you can get your free parts and then they want to deliver it to you for you know they want to oh look I'll drop by and I'll you know and we can talk about your project and if we can help you with other parts no go away god you don't want to waste hours of your time dealing with bloody reps and things like that so just don't do it from a hassle point of view really um and uh the other um uh, well one of the major things with samples is that um you have if unless you actually go through and do the research on each part you get as a sample well is that a viable part I've talked about this before, you might design the part into your design. You might think, oh great, I'll design in this part because it's free. I can get, you know, five free samples from the manufacturer. Well, that's great if you're only going to make one or five. Well, what happens if you finish your project, it's a winner, and you want to go make a hundred of them, or a thousand, or ten thousand? What do you do? Well, you've got to cross your fingers and hope that part's actually available in volume, in, you know, in the time frame that you actually want at a at a reasonable price in volume so god don't get sucked into it um as i've said before a lot of uh you know a good lot of the design process is actually selecting the right part and if you bypass in terms of price volume availability compatible footprints all sorts of things if you bypass all that and make your decision based solely on whether or not you can get free samples well you're gonna come a gutzer okay and that's Australian talk for um, you know you you're uh, you're gonna come undone basically down the track there's gonna be a catch which is gonna get you so don't fall into the free sample cycle. You get what you pay for, really. Remember that, kiddies.